Are you serious? Are you serious? Armageddon. It is not just a uh, mystical mystery war that will happen somewhere. Someone thinks maybe it's a theory. It's in the Bible. Jesus, through the power of God, through the revelation knowledge, was given to John the Revelator in the book of Revelation, in the Apocalypse. This is what the scripture says. Jesus said these words, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Now there's certain things that take place leading up to this. Let me read for you Revelation 16. And then look at all the players. Look at all the nations surrounding Jerusalem. Look at all of the armies. Look at the great weaponry that man has now acquired. And look at the tension, the religious pressure, religious tensions, kingdom rising against kingdom. False Christ, false prophets shall rise. They'll deceive many. You'll hear of wars and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows. Here's what it says. Revelation 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways. And pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men, which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and of prophets and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and they repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel, poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, and the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, Jesus said, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together in a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. This is a biblical passage of a prophetic time that's coming upon the earth. Now, the wrath of God is being poured out during this time, and the ultimate battle of Armageddon is set up. 
And we read about that tremendous battle, actually, as the confrontations. We see the sides gathering for this great war that's coming up in Revelation 19. And so I'm telling you now, you're watching the pieces and parts. You're watching the prophetic puzzle come together. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And it's not just the nations. Remember what Jesus said in Luke 21, verse 25, for there shall be signs in the sun. Here comes the total eclipse, August 21st. And in the moon, again, total eclipse, August 21st, 2017. And in the stars, the constellational alignment that includes the sun, the moon, and the stars all coming together September 23rd, Feast of Trumpets, when Revelation 12's constellation revealing the great wonder in heaven of a woman giving birth to a man-child and the beast of Revelation 13 rising up to try to devour it. And how that the Jews have to flee into the wilderness, confirming what Jesus said in Matthew 24. When they would have to flee out of Judea and Samaria. And woe unto them with a child and them that give suck in those days. And pray that your flight be not in the winter nor on the Sabbath day. Oh, we're talking about a time like we've never seen before. So we are living in the days the biblical prophecies told us would come. I know you don't want to be a part of the end times. Sorry, you are. You're in the fig tree generation. Are you saved? We're going to talk about it today on the coming apocalypse. And the word apocalypse, a Greek word for the word, means the coming revelation or the coming unveiling or the coming revealing. Now, who needs to be revealed? The Antichrist. And that's in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And he will be revealed. Are you serious? Jesus is coming soon.